will be in for a nice sunny weekend. A little cooler than last weekend, that's for sure, but still should be a nice one to go check out. And Nicole Haas and the Stevenson County Home Show going on this weekend. Nicole's at the site of the event, setting up the Greater Freeport Partnership booth already, are you, Nicole? That's right. We're here getting ready to set up all the booths for more than 50 vendors who are going to join us at the home show this weekend. Last weekend was a great weekend to kind of get out and assess the spring, <laughs> you know, either damage or the projects you wanted to do because you were able to get out. And if you're anything like me, you went out and you were like, oh, that's right. I had it. I meant to do something about that patio or about that landscaping. And so even though it's cooler this weekend and it might not be the best weekend to work outside, it is definitely a perfect time to come to the Stevenson County Home Show, talk with contractors, landscapers, and other home specialty uh, providers who can talk to you about your next project, um, whether it's indoors, outdoors, or something you're looking to price for in the future. The home show is open and free to the public, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we're at the Stevenson County Fairgrounds. It is a little chilly, like you said. It is not <laughs> as warm as it was last weekend. But here uh, within the fairgrounds, you know, the sun is shining, and we're going to have a ton of great conversation here tomorrow to warm it up. And you mentioned uh, a lot of the outdoor services, contractors, landscapers, uh, outdoor type, but there will be uh, some things. If you want to do some work in a bathroom or a kitchen or a bedroom, there'll be uh, providers of those services available as well, won't there? Yeah, we actually have everything from subcontractors that deal in inst insulation, plumbing. Uh, we even have some mortgage companies who are here, realtors. So if you're looking at a different home, it's still a great place to come, True, yeah. as well as um, the indoor projects you were talking about, even energy efficiency savings. Um, the Freeport Fire Department's going to be here with you know, their home uh, um, safety equipment, talking about installation of smoke detectors, carbon monoxide, that kind of stuff, and then also solar arrays. So if you're looking at energy energy efficiency, or if you've wanted to talk to people about solar without any commitment, this is also a great place to come. Everything home remodeling and improvement is yeah. right here at the Stevenson County Home Show. All right, and that is uh, the tomorrow from 10 until 4 at the Stevenson County Fairgrounds. And then, uh, and then are there baby goats running around to snuggle, or is that, in, uh, is that somewhere else uh, this weekend? Unfortunately, that is somewhere else. Oh, now, okay. maybe at fair time, you know, this is definitely the place to be. But this early in the season, not, not you're going to have to yet. go over to Greta's Goats uh, for that. What? Greta's Goats is on the east edge of Stevenson County, closer to Rydot. And this is still springtime. And in nature, that means baby, baby goats. goats. Yeah. <laughs> of all kinds so if you are one who enjoys the baby goats or the snuggles that come along with that before they get bigger go over to Greta's goats the snuggles at 10 a.m and then they actually have a goat hike that begins at 11 a.m Greta's goats is an amazing place to learn more about the smaller scale farms and then they also have goat milk soap making classes as well as goat cheese um, other goat milk products are all in, available within their shop so in addition to the baby goats so much more to do out at short lake farm and that is uh, east of freeport near rydot and is this a free goat snuggle thing uh, would, uh nope there is a charge and depending on if you're just doing the snuggle or if you want to do the snuggle and the hike check out their website <laughs> okay. for more information <laughs> greta's goats Greta with two T's and lots of baby goats that need some snuggling. Uh, and uh, you got, with, what else you got going on? A Native American chef's table this weekend? What's that about? That's right. You know, here at the partnership, we do so many things to collaborate with, you know, the business community as well as the public entities in this area. So we love a good partnership. And uh, that's great right now between Quiet Souls and the Muse on Cedar Creek. So Quiet Souls is our Native American store in this area. And then the Muse on Cedar Creek is a wine and bistro out in Cedarville. They are in the old famous Fossil Winery building. Oh, okay. And they are coming together to put together Native American chef's table for Kona, which is a Native American event that they had the first week in June. And it's an it's an amazing, if you go on their Facebook page for this event, the um, it's a four course dinner with wine pairing. And then you learn about Native American history along with that. It's such a um, 
popular event. They actually have two nights. So it's not only Monday at 6, but it's also Tuesday at 6. So go on either the Muse on Cedar Creek or Quiet Souls and register today for that amazing dinner. All right, two chances, or maybe go both nights. If you like what you have the first night, go and sign up for the second. And, uh, yeah, that'll be uh, Monday and Tuesday of next week. So, Nicole, I believe uh, you guys have wrapped up the, I think, your first ever base camp pitch competition. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. So, no, I mean, explain what, about explain what the, the competition is, first of all. Yeah, so BASE stands for Business Academy for Small Businesses and Entrepreneurs. This is our education program for small businesses or people who are thinking about starting a business. It was actually a, a five, five courses over 10 weeks that talked about everything from a business plan to financing, marketing, business structures, insurance, how to hire employees, and when maybe that makes sense for your business. So uh, we we had 11 participants from 10 different businesses go through that class, and then seven of them decided to uh, enroll in our pitch competition. So using all of that knowledge that they found within the class to put it to use to create their pitch. So if you've ever watched Shark Tank, right, yeah. that's kind of what this was. They had turned in a couple of pieces about their business plan ahead of time to the judges, and then that night they produced their elevator speeches, so under 60 seconds. We narrowed it down to four, and we are happy to announce our first winner of the base camp pitch competition was Sarah Brennan of Hilldale Deli and Catering, who already has an existing small business downtown Freeport, but she is looking to expand her customized catering business. So congratulations to her, as well as Lance Ferguson of Social Medusa, who took second prize, William Brown of Hope Helps Freeport took third, and Monica Pierce of Edible Garden Installations, who took fourth prize. Again, we had a great group of people, and we look forward to having this pitch competition and class again in early 2025. And these prizes, are they like financial to help them, or are these just ways to continue their, to, to market uh, what they're trying to accomplish? Well, we hope the latter, but definitely the former. So we are trying, uh, the first prize was $2,000 to okay. reinvest in their business idea. Nice. Second prize was 500 and then we had additional cast prizes for third and fourth. Nice. Okay. And you plan to do the uh, not only the class, the uh, base class again, but the pitch competition again next year. Yep. Beginning of the year. And if people are interested, they can email or call our office and we'll get you on that list. So as those dates become available, we'll make sure to notify you. You mentioned Hilldale. Hilldale Deli already has a uh, uh, brick and mortar store in downtown Freeport. I hear you're, you're going to bring out the ribbons a few times next few weeks here, aren't you, in downtown Freeport? Oh, it is such great food. <laughs> and if you make it downtown, they're at the corner of Stevenson and Van Buren. Tell them, uh, tell her congratulations and that you saw her here with us with support from the Greater Freeport Partnership. And yeah, more business openings in downtown Freeport coming up in the next couple of weeks, I hear, huh? And restaurant week, yep. so much more to talk about next yeah, week. Next week, well, and meet you. You got to get your booth set up and all those other booths <laughs> right. set up. You got one thing at a time there, Nicole. We'll talk to you again next Friday. Have a good day at the Stevenson County Home Show uh, tomorrow from 10 until 4. For more information on all the events we chatted with Nicole about, go to greaterfreeport.com. We'll be right back.